I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a mountain range. We're also going to do foreground, middle ground, and background. Starting over here on the left, we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, and leave it floating. Come down a little bit, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, leave it floating. And one more, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, and leave it floating. Now, because we are doing Mother Nature, we're doing something natural, it really doesn't matter how your lines go because that's the way Mother Nature is. So the second one, okay, so this is going to be our foreground. We come up a little bit, and now we're doing the middle ground. We're going to do wavy line up, down, up, up, keep going, wavy line, wavy line off the page. This is now the middle ground, the middle part. Come up a little bit above, wavy line, wavy line, curve line, wavy line, connect. Come over here on the right, wavy line, wavy line, curve line, off the page. So this is now the middle ground. Now we're actually going to draw the background, which is the mountain part. Curve line up, in, down, up, up, down, over, up, up, down, over, up, 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 off the page. Come right about here. We're going to draw another curve line, wavy line, curve line up, wavy line, curve line up, keep going, leave it floating. We come over to the left side and we're just going to go line, line, straight diagonal, line, line, straight line. Let's just do curve. We got the wavy. Okay. Now we're going to do the background. Starting up here, curve line in, back, up down, wavy line, curve line, curve line up, wavy line, keep going, keep going, off the page. So, even though you can't quite see it, this part is the foreground. This is going to be the middle ground, and the background is the actual mountain range and the sky. You will be able to see it way better once we start coloring, so let's see how we are going to color. Okay, usually I start with the light to dark concept of using color, but I want you to see the foreground first, so I'm going to use my gray. And all I'm going to do is draw gray curved lines all the way inside this foreground space. Now we're going to be doing layers of colors. So this is my first initial part on the foreground. Okay, that's the part closest to you as the viewer. Then, if you have any multicultural crayons, I'm going to use this apricot or peach, and I'm going to come in and put that second layer of curved lines over the gray, to do this bottom foreground space. Now you might not be able to see it on camera, but it is adding another layer of color. So I'm going to fill that in with more curved lines down here at the base. Okay? Once I've done that, now I come in with my brown. First, I'm going to lightly loop-de-loop -loop the entire space to fill in 
parts of color on my white paper that are not colored already lightly not too dark you don't want to lose all your other colors then I come in and every once in a while I put a brown curved line this is the foreground okay next is the middle ground right here this is going to be using my brown crayon but sideways to give a softer cover I'm using this here and I'm going to use it up here this is the middle ground okay then I take this brown crayon and I'm just gonna do some darker lines along my guidelines which are black now that's why your black lines are important mainly just to give you a guide on where to put a darker color to give you a little bit of shading not too much just a little bit and that's basically to show that this middle ground is different from the foreground we're just using this one color okay now we are going to do our background which is twofold because this is the actual mountain range I'm going to start off with my gray and just do that first little bit of color following my black lines as a guide all the way up all the way down back and over I like using the gray because you can see it a little bit better then I'm going to use that multicultural crayon again and again this only gives me a light base color I'm loop de looping all of this space just to give it a little bit more color and now I come in with regular blue and I try to put a little bit of color following my black lines up down and around now what's interesting about doing a mountain range and I'm using the Sierra Nevadas as my in California as my guide is that you look at it up close and you go okay now I'm going to take my blue and I'm doing a little loop-de-loop -loop over everything anyways as I was going to say you look at it up close and you go whoa that's very non-representational and it is until don't forget to put a little bit of dark blue down here at this space until you take a step back and then you can all of a sudden see the mountains now this upper part is all sky and clouds so once again I'm taking my multicultural crayon just to give it some color put a coat of color up there and I come back in with my regular blue and lightly follow my black lines and just add a little bit of color up and back okay all right let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is my Sierra Nevada in California mountain range all colored in groups of mountains are called ranges and it's a landform that rises high above its surroundings artistically this is the foreground this is the middle ground this is the background and I would call this the back background okay bye bye